Campbell Soup bring you Amos and Andy. received many Christmas greetings. Both boys are extremely happy and are looking forward to Christmas Day. As the scene opens now, we find Amos in the front room of his flat. Andy has just entered carrying a few packages. A small lighted Christmas tree sits on a table in one corner. In the back room, Amos's baby boy is asleep in his crib and his little daughter is preparing for bed. Ruby and her mother have just gone out for a short while. There. Well, come in there, son. You look like Santa Claus there with all that stuff. Yeah, how is you, boy? Oh, how fine. is you? Very good, one. Yeah, same to you. Doggone, that tree looks good. Yeah, don't look pretty. Yeah, wait a minute. Let me lay these packages down here on the sofa. Oh, you're making the rounds, ain't you, son? Yeah, making the rounds, spreading good cheer. Yes, sir. Oh, boy, that is a pretty tree, too. Yeah. Got a lot of lights on there, boy. Yeah, we saved some of them from last year, and then we got another new string this year and added on to it. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Well, we just decorated that tonight. Uh-huh. Ruby and her mama is going out to take a few things to some poor people that they know here in town. They'll be gone about an hour. Yeah, well, I'll leave these packages here. Leave these? All of them? Oh, sure. Here's one for Ruby. Here's one for her mama. Oh, see. There's one for you right there. Oh, thank you, and there's a little rattle in here for your baby. Oh, gee, Willis, look at here. And here's a package for your oldest child, your little girl. Oh, uh, I, I certainly a Santa Claus this year, Andy. Thank you so much. Well, that's all right. I see a lot of stuff over at my place from your house. Yeah, well, just like I told you, Andy, it ain't much, but we want you to know that we love you and we are thinking about you. You know that. Oh, well, Amos, I feel better this Christmas than I ever felt. Yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, when you open up your packages? Well, uh, the kids get up early, and, well, we all get up and start early Christmas morning. And, and by the way, don't forget that you promised me this morning that you'd be here for Christmas dinner with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that show is nice of you, all right, because the other Christmas dinners didn't work out so good. Oh, it didn't, huh? Uh-huh. Well, we want you here, so now we're going to count on that. Oh, yeah. Well, that's well. Yeah. Oh. Well... I got to get going, son. I got to drop in on two or three people to say hello to them. Yeah, well, I hate to have you rush off, Andy. Don't you want to sit down a little while? No, no, I'll get going, son. Just want to come by here and kind of wish you a Merry Christmas tomorrow. Uh-huh. Well, you know I wish you one, son. Yeah, by the way, uh, you don't want to go with me now, do you? Drop in on some friends or something? Oh, no, Andy, I can't. Uh, I'm going on back now and see that the baby is covered up in the crib and say good night to Arbadella. You know, she wants to know all about Christmas. She can't wait till tomorrow. Yeah, well, that's great, son. Well, Merry Christmas again. Well, thank you, to you and thank you for the package, Amanda. You're welcome, Amos. You're welcome. So long. Sir. So long, son. Bring forth the royal diadem and crown him. Yeah. Well, honey, you was in bed, ain't you? Daddy. Can I turn on the little radio for a minute before I go to sleep? Well, uh, just for a minute or two, I'll snap it on for you. Say, uh, we let it warm up a few seconds. We don't want to wake up baby, you know. Well, music never wakes him up, Daddy. Yeah, well, now, let me straighten your covers out a little bit here. Mm-hmm. Here, you said your prayers? Well, Mommy heard my prayers before she went out, Daddy. Oh, that's good, yeah. The Paul Taylor Chorus continues with the Lord's Prayer. 
Yeah, well, now, you get on the covers, honey. Daddy, could you get some Christmas music on the radio? Why, darling, this is the very best Christmas music you could get. This is the Lord's Prayer. I can say the Lord's Prayer with Mommy. She's been teaching it to me. Yeah, I know she is. What does the Lord's Prayer mean, Daddy? Well, it means an awful lot. And with the world like it is today, darling, it seems to have a bigger meaning than ever before. Well, what does the Lord's Prayer mean? The Lord's Prayer? Well, darling, I'll try to explain it to you. Oh, really, Daddy? Yeah, now, you lay down and listen. The first line of the Lord's Prayer is this. Our Father, which art in heaven, that means Father... Of all that is good, where no wrong can dwell. Now, the next line is, Hallow be thy name. That means, darling, that we should love and respect all that is good. Oh. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. That means, darling, as we clean our hearts of all hate and selfishness and fill our hearts with love, the good, the true, and the beautiful, then this earth will be exactly like heaven. Oh, that would be wonderful, Daddy. Then it says, give us this day our daily bread. Now, that means to feed our hearts and minds with kindness, love, and courage, which will make us strong for our daily task. Mm -hmm. And then it says, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. You remember the golden rule? Oh, yes, sir. Well, that means that we must keep the golden rule and do unto others as we would want them to do unto us. And then it says, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. That means, my darling, to ask God to help us do and see and think right, so that we will neither be led or tempted by anything that is bad. Uh -huh. And then it says, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. That means, darling, that all the world and everything that's in it belongs to God's kingdom. Everything. Mommy, your daddy, your little brother, your grandma, you and everybody. And as we know that and act as if we know it, my darling, that is the real spirit of Christmas. Daddy? Well, darling, I guess I ought to turn off the radio and let you go to sleep. Good night, Daddy. Good night, my sweetheart. Daddy? Yes? Will you leave the radio on while I go to sleep? All right, I'll leave it on for a couple of minutes, and I'll come back and turn it off, and you listen to the Christmas music.
Trust not my daughter. Tomorrow is Christmas. The day of all days when old friendships and family ties are renewed and strengthened. This year, more than ever, the real fundamental things in our life stand out from the trivial and inconsequential. The Christmas service at church has more meaning. The old words, freedom, equality, tolerance, character, take on new values. And most of all, we realize the importance in our lives of the people we like most. Some of us, just as some of you, are fortunate to have our families with us this Christmas. Some of us, just as some of you, have folks in army camps, on ships, or on foreign shores. But this Christmas, there is a greater appreciation of family ties, of friends, than in the past 24 years. We think of you as friends of ours. And as such, Amos and Andy and I, and the makers of Campbell's Soup, wish you, with special warmth and meaning, a Merry Christmas. person will return to you tomorrow at this same hour. This is Bill Hay speaking for Campbell's Soup, bidding you all good night. And inviting you to stay tuned in for Lanny Roth, who follows immediately on this station.